Hello once again ladies and gentlemen, this is Graz with another video. And as you can see, I've changed the area right outside the mine. As a matter of fact, you see I've got a fence and I've pretty much leveled a lot of this stuff out. I'm going to go up top and you can see the fence extends all the way around. Uh, even have a little farm area going here. As we can see, I have some crops growing, which is pretty cool. Looks like the sun's coming up. All the bad monsters are burning up. Except for that creeper that's kind of lingering around over here. Uh, let me take care of him real quick, because I feel a lot better with him dead. Okay, a zombie was around here as well, but I don't care about him. Um, okay, I guess that creeper must have went and disappeared. Oh well. But anyway, the area around the mine shaft is uh, looking pretty homely. As a matter of fact, I'm starting to think maybe I should just build a home right out top around here. There's another creeper. I'm thinking I might just build another home, like, right in here and just move everything from the land of the ice and snow into this area right here. It would probably make sense. Um, a lot more sense than keeping having the traverse back and forth. Uh, maybe I wouldn't demolish the one back here, but at least I would have something here, you know? Um, I think I have a lot of my building material down in the mine shaft. But, yeah, I mean, it feels a whole lot more homely. Uh, for the most part, down here, yeah, it's all blocked off, so no monsters are going to come straggling up. The only way to really access it would probably be to, like, I don't know, they would have to spawn somewhere around here, basically. I guess maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe an Enderman or something would find a way to get in here, but for the most part, there's no real problem with them. So, anyway, uh, let me go down to the mine shaft. I want to see my building material. I converted a lot of my smooth stone into, like, the stone building blocks. So I think that's what I'll probably use to build my house. Here we go. Here are stone bricks that I created. And basically, once you smelt all your cobblestone down to the actual smooth stone, you can convert that smooth stone into actual stone bricks, which is pretty cool. The one thing I will have to do is actually get some more sand so I can make some glass. And I think that's what I may do right now. So let's go dredge out this river and get some more sand. There's a zombie is like hiding around here somewhere during the middle of the day. Where in the world is he? Oh well. Let's go in and do some dredging. Hmm, well that's already dug out. Here we go. Let's dig some of this out. I'm sure the squids will be a little more happier to know that they can get some more freedom to move around. I just gotta remember to go up for some air because digging down here could be quite perilous. If you're not paying attention, that is. Okay. Get out of here, you stupid squid. I don't feel like fighting squid down here because they felt like being stupid. And, of course, there's the whole air issue. Ah. Alright, stop, stop moving around. There we go. Just doing a little dredging. Yeah, it's becoming a little bit deeper, but still. It's not like I actually ford this river that often anyway. You know what? That would be a great idea, to make a bridge. I think I'm going to do that. That way I can access the village a lot easier than having to keep swimming. So, yeah, why not? Uh-oh. Totally forgot about the air. See, that's the one thing about this area and doing all this is it makes it a little more perilous. Actually, I think it makes you a little bit more non-careless, if that's even a freaking word. Okay. So we'll just pull all this up. Uh, that's my safety wall, by the way. It prevents me from falling into a... I guess a quarry, you could call it. Maybe a rock quarry. Now I gotta be careful, because I don't want to fall down any holes. I may have to actually seal that hole up there. And I don't want to dig this too deep, because then I'm going to wind up having water come in. And, yeah, that's not my intention at all. Get in there. 
Okay, I think that's good enough. Yeah, I don't want to leave that open. I'm just going to go ahead and quick seal that up. Now it's nothing there. And this, of course, was one of my experiments, so I'm not even going to bother with that. I don't even think I... Oh, here we go. I still have some food on me. Good. We'll get that hunger issue taken care of real quick. Get up there. We're going to have to make some stairs for that stepway right there. Alright, so we'll go down and get some lava. I'm going to uh, get some lava in the bucket. How much sand? Oh yeah, we're going to need some lava in the bucket. Because we're going to be making a whole lot of glass. I don't know, we'll get creative with this house. We'll see how it turns out. Oh, okay. Here we go. So you're the one down here making all that commotion and such. I was wondering where all that noise was coming from. Okay, so here's the lava pit. Looks like my lava's starting to go a little bit low. I'm tapping into my pit a little bit too much. Oh well. It'll be alright. There's plenty of lava in this game. We'll just have to do some searching, worst case scenario. Alright, so we got our lava. We're going to make a... Well, we're going to make a longer fire, first of all. That's going to help us do a lot more smelting. I'm sure a lot of people know of this trick by now. No point in using up six coal when I can just use the whole thing here. Yep. Get in there. Alright, well, I'm not going to keep you guys waiting. I'll resume once we get done with dealing with all this. Alright, so you can see we already have our glass in our inventory, and we're doing a little bit of land transformation right now. I'm going to put a house here. I think this is about right. Just right outside. I can always put a gate or something right there. This seems to be a, about appropriate for what I want. I'm just kind of filling in, changing the land around. I didn't want to do that, of course. And as well, my gear is breaking. I had a, I had a creeper come up and take out part of me, so... When he did that, I had to go back and redo part of the land. You know how them creepers are. They're very quiet until the last minute. Then they go out in the bang of glory. Okay, so what am I going to do for a house? Let me see here. So I think I'm just going to start laying the outline roughly around here. Now I think the problem with this is going to wind up being... Am I going to have enough blocks? And at this rate, I can guarantee you right now I'm probably not. Ouch. Did not want to do that. And that just really ruined things. Okay, never mind. I guess it didn't. Anyway, moving along. Yes, I think this is how I want it to look. Now, I, I hope this isn't going to open up the hole that I had created. I hope it don't. Good, good. Get in there. There was a hole here that led down to part of the cave. But I just didn't really feel like it was necessary, so I just took it out. And I'll kind of leave this little gap here as... I don't know, I'll fill this in with dirt, actually. You know what? Yeah, I'll fill that in with dirt. Didn't want to do that again. But then again, you know, why not? Let's just fill it in with some dirt. Make it look better. Come up to the house. Fix the little air. Okay, well, I could probably live with that error because either way, it's going to be pretty much... Okay, I really got to start watching where I'm clicking because I'm making too many errors. Okay, so this will be the outline for the house. Pretty simple, right? 
Mm, so now the next plan would be at what point do I want to make windows? What point, you know, but I pretty much want to make much. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I think I'm just going to flatten this out real quick. Yeah, this will do nicely. Let's have this all nice and flattened out. And I could probably make like a, a gate or something right in here. So, we'll just do that. A door, which will have to be created. I think I'll make like double swing doors. So, I'm thinking window here. Then two doors. Select that block. Okay, two doors. One, two. Here, another set of windows. One, two. Then we can go ahead and start walling this off. And I think I'll just create like a... Maybe a window here. Yeah, maybe a window here. Another double window here. Followed by, of course, some more blocks. And then, windows, windows everywhere. And of course this house will be easily expanded upon later. I could probably fill in this area right here with dirt. And get that all sorted out. Okay, maybe a window here. Or maybe I can do like a big double, one big window. Yeah, I think I may just do that. Have it like one big window. I can see everything. Yes. I think I'm going to like this. I get over there. I could probably make these, you know, roughly too high, too wide, and too high. Seems appropriate. Okay, and we'll throw a little bit more window over here. Now, what am I going to do with this area? Because I don't think there's really much to do. I don't think a window would be necessary. That could be like a bedroom or something. So I think we'll just leave it at that and just go from there. All right, welcome back. As we have the house, for the most part, it's pretty much done, as you can see. Uh, replaced the grass floors. We have some wood floors in there now, so it's a lot more finished, I guess you could say. Of course, we built up the ceiling nice and high. If I can jump up, here we go. Uh, I plan to do a little bit more with the ceiling. I don't really want to keep a flat ceiling. I'll probably build it up around the ends or, I don't know, we'll build it up nice and tall so you can see it from a distance. But at least this way, it feels like, yeah, it, it looks and feels like home. We built out the front end a little bit to give it more of a bright display. We have a little bit of fences right here, that, like, maybe some guardrails. You know, we got blocks over here. I kind of use them like an overhang, kind of like an awning type deal with the torches. And of course we have our glass windows. Nothing on this side. This is more like the bedroom side, you would say. Not much going on here, so I didn't want to put a window. Back area has a huge window right here. Probably could make this a little bit bigger, but I'm happy where it's at right now. And at some point I want to flatten all this out too to make it level. Ooh, look, free stuff. Sunlight must have killed the skeleton. But yeah, I gotta get a, put a torch up there on that side. This is the back area. Once again, here's the side with more awnings, just like the back has. Torches, you know, we have a six block window set up here so we can get a good view off to the side. Not a problem. We'll head in. Once again, you get a good look at the floor here. Now the house is sitting pretty low on the inside. It's one block low. It's a lower level. We have st cobblestone stairs going up and out. Of course I plan to put the bed over here. We'll put a stove or furnace or something in here. I don't know, a chest over here, a chest over there. We'll see we have a chest right here. 
So I think I'll just put this chest right here. And I don't know, as time goes on and things get moved around, I can wind up shifting some stuff around. But I really wanted these stone bricks to like fortify the house. They really protect it from the creeper explosions. It's already been tested twice, believe me. And in the testing phase, I wound up losing one of the glass blocks over here. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. I'm thinking about maybe bringing a few more blocks over to serve as another awning for the window and all. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it all turns out. Let's see if I can get back on the roof. This is the tricky part. Trying to jump back on the roof. There we go. Like I said, I like to flesh that out a little bit more, make it nice and level. We'll do something with it. I may even go ahead and use this as like a second floor. I could build a set of stairs, build this up some more, which may be done. I don't know, we'll see. And of course, we're going to have to put a gate in this area over here. And this is just a mine shaft. Let's see if I can squeeze around this area. We'll see how this goes. Ah, crap. Alright, well, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. I will see you again next time.